Let's go, guys. Pastor Rob here. Three-minute Bible study. If you make it to the end, you get a free 2022 Corvette. Pick your color out if you want a convertible or hard top. Let me know now. If you made it to the end in the comments now, no lying, no white lie, no Christian white lie. Say I made it to the end, Brother Rob. Mark chapter 4. Jesus said in verse 13 about this parable. What's a parable? A parable is a pictorial, metaphorical story, in a sense, where back in the day they would talk about fishing, agriculture, farming, etc. Now they would talk about Mac Pros and, you know, cell phones and yada yada. But back then he was trying to make it relative and relatable because those were the major vocations, fishing and farming. Now he said this. Do you not understand this parable or this story? He would teach them in stories and parables. How then will you understand all or any parables? Here we go. And he began to teach by the sea. Why did he teach by the sea in a boat? People would throng to him, crowd him, multitudes. And he would get so overwhelmed by the people because they had so much of a need that he would have to go in a boat and go into the sea. A great multitude was gathered him, so he got in a boat in the sea. And then he said, and it happened as he sowed. Behold, the sower went out to sow. Who's the sower, guys? Who's the sower? Think with the farmer. God's the sower. And what's God sowing? His word is words like a seed. Behold, the soul went out to sow. Now it happened as he sowed. Some seed fell by the wayside. The birds of the air came and devoured it. What's the birds of the air? Who are they? They're demons that want to steal the seed before they can take root so they won't bear fruit. They want to steal the seed. And where's the seed sown? In our spiritual heart, let's say, in our heart spiritually. Some seed fell along the stony ground. It did not have much earth. Immediately it sprang up. It had no death. Uh, the sun was up. It was scorched. Now listen to this. But some seed fell on good ground, yielded a crop that sprang up, increased to 30, 60, and 100 fold. The Lord wants his word to be inseminated in us spiritually and grow to 30, 60, or 100 fold. Father, I thank you for those that had ears to hear, that they listened and were growing and being groomed and discipled in the things of Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you guys in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.